Hey everybody, Price Tag here from Price Tag Aquariums. I hope everyone's having a great day and enjoying life to the fullest. I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about the FX filter series. They have a water change system that's on the very bottom of the filter that I've never used before. I've always done your typical water change of just taking water out from the top of the tank, taking it to wherever it needs to go, either buckets, faucet, whatever connections you have and then just refilling it back from the faucet and back into the tank. I want to see, well, what do you think about this? And I want to see if you guys have ever used this type of method. I want to see if you guys have ever used it and if you guys like it, dislike it, or if you guys just totally ignored it and you guys don't even use this. You just go with your typical, connect your hose to the faucet and do your water changes just like normal. So I'll kind of give you the scoop of what I'm looking at here and how this is supposed to work. So this is all new to me, so this is going to be interesting as well. So on the FX4 that I have here, they have this attachment on the bottom that whenever you shut the filter off and you connect this hose, that you should be able to do a water change and empty out the water and actually be able to refill it back into the filter to refill the tank to go out to the outputs and use the intake that you see over there. It's right underneath, or right behind that rock. So what this includes is a card that has these pictures of how everything works out. There's not a whole lot of wording to it, but a little bit here and there, but it essentially shows every step of how you do it. When you unplug it, you turn off the output, you open up the little drain that you see on the bottom there, and then you should be able to go into a bucket or whatever your output would be, and then you should be able to dump it out to your water level. When you replace the water, you would close the, the bottom part of the filter that you see on this picture, you would open up the output, and you let it go through that cycle and for all you guys who don't know that the FX series, they have a three minute cycle and it's kind of a way of adjusting the filter and it turns on, turns off, and then turns back on to purge any air pockets or any of that nature to it. So then after that, you would turn off the input and open up the output and depending on how your setup is, you would use your buckets of water or wherever your water, your new water sitting at, you would put that hose into that water. And then like you see here, you would leave that outtake open, you would open up from that bucket of water and we'll be able to take that water from your bucket or your water source and put it right back into the tank. And after it's done, and it looks like from the picture, you're not supposed to let the water drain all the way to the bottom to avoid that air suction that you might get or any air pockets that might get reintroduced back into that filter. And then you do that you know, several times if you use a bucket to where you get your water level to where you like it, kind of like what the picture shows. And it does give you some, like I said, some little descriptions and tells you to repeat the process until you get your desired water level. And then after that, you just shut that back in, plug it back in, and good to go. So I'm hoping that this works out, and we'll see how this goes. All right, so I got I got my FX4 sitting right here. Right now, the inlet and outlet is on, and it's still plugged in. The directions say that, like you saw in the video, that to use a bucket. Um, but my tank is sitting next to my outside door so what I'm gonna do is uh, in order to uh, kind of take some time off my hands between dumping these buckets is I'm just going to take my tube connect it to this outlet here and I'm just gonna run it right outside so that way I want to deal with any buckets for this purpose when it comes time to filling the water back up in my tank it does say that you can use this same attachment put, what, put clean water in your clean bucket to put back into the tank. For this video purpose, I'm gonna do that for probably a couple buckets and see how it works. 
And then I'm also going to finish off with my Python that's connected to my faucet currently. So that way I kind of get a feel for doing it this way. And then after I'm done, go to my Python and top off the rest of the way. So with that being said, let's dive right in. First step is to unplug the filter. After that, you'll see me close the output and then open up that little drain on the bottom there and take that drain outside to let the water drain out from the intake of the FX filter. Huh, would you look at that? No leaks. I never thought emptying water from a fish tank could be so exciting. Everything is going as planned so far. Not too shabby. Maybe I should clean my rocks in here while I'm at it. We'll see. Uh-oh, you guys notice something? I left my heater on. Rule number one is always turn those off. Don't worry, you guys. It doesn't go below to where it will burn that heater out. Look at that, good to go. Now it comes time to replace the water. Here's my buckets that I told you I was going to use earlier. So we'll see how this goes. Also, when you're done draining the water, make sure to shut off that bottom drain before you move on to the next step. All right, so now what I'm doing is opening up the output. So both the inlet and outlets open, and then plug it back in. And this is where you have that three minute cycle to where it'll turn on turn off and then turn back on again. And this is all normal for the FX series. Might as well add some water conditioner while I'm at it. Ta-da! Alright, onward to the next step. 
which is replacing the water using the buckets. I know you can't see the buckets on camera, but you'll see me use this hose, dip it into the water on the very bottom of the bucket, and then after that, you'll see me here pointing down to where I'm going to open up that bottom drain where I originally was draining the water and that water is going to suck in the water from the bucket and put it back into the tank. So I'm shutting off the inlet valve, the outlet valve is open and then me pointing here is opening up that drain so that way that water gets replaced into the tank from my buckets. A little hard to see on camera, but I figured I'd explain to you just in case you didn't understand from the picture you see here. What I'm also showing you is right before the bucket empties, you would shut off that drain valve so that way you don't suck up any air and you can just move that hose from one bucket to the other or from whatever your water source may be. So here you see me shutting off that drain valve right before I get to the bottom level of that water. Switching the hose over to the other bucket and then just simply opening up that drain valve again in that full bucket of water. And here we go. One more bucket to go. And look at that. Easy peasy. All right, two buckets empty, drain valve is shut. Time to move on. Well, so far so good. The bucket situation seemed to be okay. I stopped the water flow going into the filter and going out the outtake. And I did it before the water level dropped to the very bottom of both buckets and no air pockets and everything flowed just great. If you wanted to use buckets, it seems like it would work pretty well. But in order to save just a little bit of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up with my Python. But regardless, I mean, if you had a bunch of buckets ready, especially for a bigger tank, I think for maybe like smaller tanks, this might work. I mean, a 75 gallon like this one is here isn't too bad, so if you had like several buckets, it might be convenient, or if you had like a big container. But I wanted to use this as an example just to show you how everything worked out. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and top off with some aquarium salt and the rest of the water and fill it the rest of the way. Hey, you big stupid. How are you gonna put that water back in there? There you go, idiot. According to directions here, it seems like all I gotta do once I'm done filling it up with my Python is whenever I get my desired water level that I will obviously shut my tap water off but you will that is closed down here on this picture if you can see right here so that's shut down there so you just reopen your inlet and your outlet and then you'll just unplug it and then plug it back in and it should go through that should go through that like three minute cycle I'm assuming. So we'll fill it all the way up. We'll stop the tap water from filling up the tank. And then we will Yeah, we'll unplug it and uh, then plug it back in and let the filter do what filters do.
So a little bit of information too on me filling it up with my tap water. My faucet doesn't have a whole lot of pressure to it. You know, enough to do your regular day-to-day -day dishes and whatnot. But it seems like, especially with the FX filters, I'm sure that's the case because these are, you know, you get what you pay for. There's a, there are a lot of money to pay for, and if you can afford it, that's great because they work phenomenal. But the amount of intake and outtake for this filter and how much water gets cycled through per day is amazing, especially for African cichlids. But I believe just by filling up with the buckets, so let's say if I had like several buckets with clean water filled in with them, it would probably cut my personal time in half if I was okay with filling up the buckets. I like the tap water, that way in case there is sort of a temperature change I need to adjust real quick, I can. But on the flip side, if all the temperature's great and I don't mess with the tap water, all that water's in the buckets too. But my tap water seems like it's a lot slower than what the filter does, which is great. So if you had a lot of buckets with water, you know, with the right temperature and the right parameters, you would have a big tank that could fill up really quick. Or maybe if you had like an extended hose and you had the big container somewhere else, it would probably suck that water out really quick and fill your tank up really fast, which is great. So I think the, uh, the FX series for their water change system knocked it out of the park. Overall, I'm, I'm happy with it. So you got that little valve cap on. You got your inlet and your outlet all open. Everything's plugged in. Filter should be turning on momentarily. That's it. Seems like everything went pretty smoothly. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, the only thing that would have made it quicker is if I just filled up a bunch of buckets or a bigger container to fill it up quicker, but I'm okay with the tap water and using the Python because I really like the Python and how it works. No mess, nothing on the floor. I hope you guys really like this video. This has been kind of an interesting one for me. So this is my first time doing a first time video, I guess you want to call it, and I've never used that water change system before, but it's actually kind of neat. I might uh, kind of go back and forth, you know, with it, and if each one has a success, then I might even switch over to that valve again. But I hope everyone liked it, and I hope I got some inspiration for people to buy some FX filters, possibly. Like I said, they're a lot of money. If you can get a good discount at your local pet stores, um, that would be great, because that's what happened to me, is I ended up getting a pretty good discount on mine. But regardless, I think they're well worth it, and they do filter a lot of water per day. And from the experience I've had today, it just makes it that much more worth it to do a water change. Especially if you don't even have to put your hands in the water. You just strictly go from the filter, and that's it. So. I like it. You calm down in there. I see you running around. <laughs> All right, my friends. Have a good one. Price tag out.